Shalom, 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 Israel, giving no praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Chakadash, the Moanas to the Apostles, LDG, Master Guru, I'll say it takes to you, I can my person is word and truth and city, risking your freedom in your life to do so. Well, so not an ever before, um, because we're close to the end. Um, you know, as you can see from, from this, uh, this little, uh, Instagram post, you know, I post a lot of, uh, you know, I do videos on, on his brother's uh, post because it's insightful information. And he, he does a lot of um, exposure of, you know, prophecy. And his prophecy in particular is talking about, you know, the president of the Israeli state. Benjamin, not a Jew. Um, or Netanyahu says pushes, to, pushes USA to go to war with Iran, says they tried to assassinate Trump. Now, if you know, if you've been following uh, the teachings of the apostles, the elders of the Great Millstone, you would know that um, this is prophecy. You know, they, they broke it down uh, through the spirit of Yahweh Shem El Shah. This is prophecy that eventually the, Israel, the Israeli state and America was going to go to war <clears throat> with Iran and bring, excuse me, bring everybody else into battle in this conflict, uh, i.e. being World War Three. You know, and, and this is our anticipation of, you know, Yahweh Shah coming back in the midst of World War Three. Which we know, you know, another, the last and major prophecy that has to be fulfilled is uh, the mandatory uh, implementation of the MOTB, all right? Where everybody has to either get it in their right hand on their forehead, and if you don't do it, you'll be put to death. That's the final prophecy before, you know, it, it's really over and, and Yahweh Shah comes back um, this isn't acceptable. delivering us. Fast from the, US the second aid, death, which is the fire that's going to consume America and other war places II, around the world. So Britain it says, uh, on the front lines of civilization, Winston Churchill appealed to Americans with these famous words, give us the tools and we'll finish the job. Today, as Israel fights on the front line of civilization, I too appeal to America. Give us the tools faster, and we'll finish the job faster. But this is an exceptional moment. Fast-tracking U.S. in the Middle East, Iran's axis of terror confronts America, Israel, and our Arab friends. This is not a clash of civilizations. It's a clash between barbarism and civilization. And as we recently learned, they even brazenly threatened to assassinate President Trump. In the Middle East, Iran's axis of terror confronts America, Israel, and our Arab friends. This is not a clash of civilizations. It's a clash between barbarism and civilization. Right, so that that's pretty much it, man. Pretty much it. Um, you know, this is, is, is prophecy, man. It's prophecy. And uh, these guys are making bold claims. We're making bold claims about what's to come. Matthew 24. Give me a second. That's a good one, too. Right, but that's not, that's not what I'm looking for. Right, so this is what I want. Matthew 24, verse 6. 
and you should hear of wars and rumors of wars, right? And that and that's a that's a, a rumor of war. You know the fact that they're talking about they're talking about the conflict with Iran and America supporting Israel and and its and its attempts to essentially take down the Iranian regime. That's a rumor of war because they're gonna use war to do it. You see what I'm saying? They're gonna use war to take down the regime of Iran. You know, thereby uh you know what I'm saying uh setting off this 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 prophecy. He said, uh, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right, so all these rumors and talks is gonna happen, but be ye not troubled for you know all these things should come to pass, but the end is not yet. So although you know a war might break out, the, the the full end is not at that moment, not yet. Verse seven: For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Right. So so that's nation rising up against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Nation is a smaller nation, and kingdom is is bigger nations, i.e. China. China and Russia versus America. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 kingdom. Alright? And I'm gonna finish the verse that said, and there should be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Meaning many different places. You're gonna experience all these events, and that's taking place. Verse 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows. All these are the beginning of sorrows, right? And as you can see, man, people are mourning now. People are mourning. People are going through tough times. Ezekiel 38, verse 3. And say, Thus said the Lord Power, Behold, I am against thee, O God, and the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. And I will turn thee back and pour hooks into thy jaw, and I will bring thee forth. Right? So that's talking about, you know, the Heavenly Father putting that spirit back in, back in Russia. That uh, and Vladimir Putin, that uh, USSR, US, USSR spirit, United so Soviet Socialist Republic, um, to where Russia was once dominating that area. They had Poland, they had Ukraine, they had all those places of Yugoslavia. They had all those places over there under the Russian co Confederate through war, and they were very powerful. Um, that's the spirit that the Heavenly Father is putting back in Russia. And as you can see, they're wiping the floor with the Ukrainian army. At one point, they said the average lifespan of a Ukrainian soldier was four hours. Could you imagine that, being on a battlefield, knowing that you only have four hours to live? Was that, 360 minutes? That would be the longest, longest four hours in your life, because that's the end of your life. But... They're, they're running through Ukraine and next might be Poland, next might be, uh, you know, all of Croatia, all those all those countries in that area to where Russia was ruled. That's the Heavenly Father turning the hooks of, of Russia and turning them back, pulling them back to how they was before. And I will bring thee forth and all thy armies, horses and horsemen, and all of them clothes with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields. All of them handling swords, all type of military weapons, military grade weapons, all type of military personnel, military men. It says uh, Persia, Persia is Iran. So these are the these are the nations that's going to be accompanying Russia, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya. With them, all of them shields and helmet, meaning they're going to fight too. Gomer, Gomer is Turkey. And all his bands, yeah, and as you know, man, Turkey was a completely against the state of Israel um, bombing Gaza. Because Turkey is a Muslim state, is a Muslim country. And although they're not, you know, they don't consider themselves, they don't consider themselves um, people of Gaza. They still feel for the people of Gaza because they're getting massacred over there. It says, um, so Turkey, Gomer, and all his band, all his armies, 
the house of Togomar on the north court is all his bands and many people with thee. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself. Um, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee and be thou a guard unto them. Be a guard unto these nations. So they're going to guard Iran when um, Israeli state goes to attack them. This remind me of my scripture, man. 50, 45. Let's get that. Jeremiah 50, verse 45. Know what I want. King James. All the time, King James. Let's see if we can find the King James version. Jeremiah 50. No, it doesn't have it there. Right here. Jeremiah 50, verse 45. Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord that he hath taken against Babylon, America, and his purposes that he hath proposed against the land of Chaldeans. In the Middle East. Surely the least of the flock should draw them out. Surely he should make their habitation desolate with them. All right, so the least of the flock should draw them out. Uh, you know, that's that's talking about Israel, man. Israel's going to draw out America, man, to this war. And he's going to make their habitation desolate with them. That's that's the prophecy, man. That's what Jeremiah was saying. How could I forget? You know, so, you know, with that, you know, I'm going to close up the video. I'm going to be heading to camp soon.